Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to show you, it's going to demonstrate how to extract an item from an image. It can be a simple item, it can be a moderately complex item, and it can be a really holy cow, how can I ever get that out kind of item. Now, if your first intention, if your first thought is to run over to these selection tools, the marquees, the freehand, and the magic wands, forget it, you're not going to use those. You don't need them. There's a better way, and I'm going to show you the better way. It's a versatile, it's easy, it's accurate, and it even does things like make this little watermarky thing, this little initial, this is my initial R, with a little whoosh, 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 underneath it. And I'll show you how to do that if we have enough time at the end of this. So the setup for this is, you grab yourself a paintbrush. You get black and white as your foreground background colors, and you want white to be the foreground. You go to Edit, Selections. Now if you're expecting major funny things to happen, eh, nothing. But what you've not got now got is this mask over top of the image. And as you paint on the part you want to save, it punches a hole in the mask, and that is kept as a selection. I hope that makes sense. It'll, it'll, it will once we do it. Okay, so let's start doing some, some painting on here. Now I've got my Wacom tablet set up for size. The harder I press, the darker or the bigger it gets. And you can see how that works. It's, it's great. If you don't have a tablet, you need one, especially when you're doing something like this. Because this one gets really finicky and, and uh, you've got to be very precise in some of these areas. And you can see I'm doing that just exactly. Have no fear, I have this one already done. And we're going to just finish off the other one. But this is, gives, gives you a show of what it'll do. And they're on the saxophone. Uh, this is what a you know a young person, a primary painter, might do for the selection, or someone with a really bad mouse skills. Okay, okay, there I've selected this guy. Now I'm going to go to Edit Selection. There you go. We have a selection. Now we can do good things with this selection. We can go to Selections, Promote sex Selection, <laughs> Selection to Layer, and that's what we got. It's not a very good selection. We're going to get rid of it. So turn this one back on. Select none. And now I'm going to go to one of those magic tools in Paint Shop Pro. If you don't know about it, you are going to learn about it now. Well, not an awful lot, but how it works. The history palette. So what I want to do is go right back to... I think we'll go right to there. This is before I started off, and we have a selection. Now I'm going to go to Edit Selection. There. Now you can see I've done all the grunt work here. Uh, we've got fairly good crisp edges everywhere. There's just one little part that's not fixed yet, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to zoom in here, and there it is. Grab my paintbrush. Make sure white is the foreground color. The brush is too big, so I press the Alt key and slide my pen up the tablet. Or if you're using a mouse, you uh, left click and slide, and away you go. So now what we're going to do is paint that in. And it's a simple matter. It's just paint, 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 paint. And we're punching a bit more of a hole through that mask. And uh, I can back the pressure way off and get these little tiny spots that are missing. One right there, it didn't get. Okay, and here with very light pressure. Now, if I get so excited about this that that you know I'm I'm just so enthralled by this method that I make a, a mistake, you know, and I oh man, look at that. Oops, I got a mistake. And that's an intentional mistake, but sometimes you make unintentional ones. So, how do we get rid of that? Well, we flip our colors around. We go to black as the foreground, and heavy pressure takes it off. As I get up closer to the saxophone, I just back off my pressure. There we go. That's how we do it. We get rid of mistakes really easily. Now, I wonder what this is. Is this a, is this a good part or a bad part? I kind of think that was a mistake. That's, that's in his pant leg. I've probably messed it all up. Now, I've got to go to white. And I'm just going to add a couple of little pixel things in here. Okay, now we go to Edit, or Selection, Edit Selection, and it shows me the, uh, the, the actual selection on this thing. 
and we can kind of zoom around and take a look. You can see all the places that are done, the little holes in the saxophone. And uh, say, is that the way we like it? Probably I blew that down there, but that's okay. You don't mind, do you? Now we're going to go to Selections, Promote Selection to Layer. And we're going to turn off the background. Now I want to check the integrity of this. And I check the integrity of this by filling a background layer or another layer with white and with black and maybe a gradient, just to see how it looks. So I'm going to put a new layer on there. Right, new raster layer. And I'm going to select none, get rid of all the selections, get my flood fill tool, and fill it with white. So that's pretty good. There's maybe a little bit around here that could be fixed up if we're going to have a light background. Now let's flip our colors around. Put black in there. Looks real good with a black background. Nice crisp edges. And you can see even in these fiddly bits in there, the, uh, the hard parts to get at, the parts that would drive you crazy with the marquee tool, it's showing right through. It's beautiful selection. So let's try a gradient, just for the heck of it, because we can. And we have many gradients available to us. And let's see what we got here. Any preferences? No, you can't tell me, even if you do. We'll use this red-orange. We'll make it circular here. That should be nice and wild. Take it out to 100%. Get our flood fiddle tool. There we go. That is our selection, and it's a pretty darn good selection. You can do very, very intricate selections with this. If you're willing to take the time and use a tablet to do it, you can select out hair, hair bits that are flying, and just all kinds of cool things. So I hope you found this useful and interesting. Now, let's see if I can do that other thing. I don't know how much time I've got left. Let me check. I've got left, but I'll do it and hope I don't go over 10 minutes. So I'm going to make a new file. Uh, four by three. That's a good one. That's what I did earlier. Now I'm going to fill it with black. Okay, now I'm going to get my selections, edit selection, get my paintbrush, get my white color. It's a 12 pixel brush. So. There we go. Now I can go to Selections, Edit Selection. I can also, if I want, go into the Modify. And I can expand it. See how thick it is there? It's by 6 pixels. OK. Selections, Promote to a new layer. There we go. Edit Selection. Select None. And now just save this as a .png. And that gives you the uh, the transparent background. You can see there's the one I did earlier, the R. And this will call R1. It's a PNG. And that's it. So I hope you found this interesting and useful. And give it a try. You're going to love this method. It is such a great method. Thanks for visiting my site. If you came in through YouTube, take a visit uh, or pay me a visit. The URL is up here somewhere. And uh, I'm sure you will find some interesting stuff there. So I appreciate your time. And you take care. Bye now.